Okay, is here, as many of you know, of course, her husband Derek is now back at home after spending over a year in hospital fighting the effects of COVID. And we saw in Kate's recent documentary, there were times when things could have gone either way. Well, she's now sharing her experiences in a best-selling new book, the power of hope and Kate joins me now on your birthday. Best selling new book, I love that. It is, congratulations. Been... Really? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Jack, this is fantastic news, no, it's fantastic really... news, Do you know great. What? When I was reading it, Kate, it was it was like I've said, I said this to you, it, it, it was like I was hearing you talking to me. Well, it that's was like you nice. telling me what had happened. Well, I'd say that's on. nice. It's probably like, shut up. <laughs> no, it's but very no, good. No, that's good. Very I good. mean, I think that's the way it had to be because it was all got down so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very nerve-wracking for the publishers because it was way beyond the deadline. But obviously, it was a situation that was unfolding for yes. all of us. The whole pandemic has. And when I thought... In fact, it was Piers Morgan who said, you need to write some of this stuff down. I was yep. doing copious medical notes, trying to keep on top of Derek's situation. He said, you need to write some of the emotions down because you might forget and it will help you look back and look at progress right. and how things have evolved. Right. And so I started jotting things down and then um, everything changed, didn't it, for all of us. Suddenly Christmas happened, it wasn't a brilliant new year. It wasn't looking back at the awful COVID of the spring and things changed too. And mm. in a weird kind of way, I think it's hopefully made it a better read for everybody because I'm hoping that I'm emerging in a new chapter, <clears throat> long yeah. way to go, like we all have, just as we're all feeling like, fingers crossed, things are getting better. Exactly. But we know we're having to be cautious and take it a step at a time. No. I'll have a slurp of tea. Have a slurp of tea. Uh, the traffic was terrible this morning, so I just rushed in, it done was. my own hair and makeup, and I'm going to have a quick slurp of tea. Well, you look fantastic, as you always do, <laughs> Superwoman. You always do. Because the thing about this <laughs> is, it's a story, it says on the front, a story of love, fear, and never giving up. It's mm. a real... I mean, it's called The Power of Hope, and that mm. shines all the way through it. That you, you, There must have been times that were hideous, but you always... The thing about you was... I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up, I've still got hope. That's no. And really, what is the choice? What is the choice? If you're going to give up, you're basically throwing in the towel. Derek wasn't throwing in the towel. The doctors and nurses and treating him wasn't throwing in the towel. There's so many people that love him, not least his children, that wanting to hang on. And I think, I didn't really understand what hope was. I thought hope was like a wish, like, oh, I hope I'll win the lottery or yeah. I hope I could arrive to Lorraine's on time. <laughs> but actually... I think hope is something really tangible and concrete, if you can make it so, that is out there thinking, we are going to get through this, mm. we don't know what shape it's going to be, we don't know where we're going to be, even if the worst has happened to Derek and I'd lost him, thank God I haven't, I've got so much to be grateful for. But you've still got to think about hope for the future and lots of people have helped me hang on to that hope mm. and go forward and that's what I wanted to put in the book because I think we're all having to look at the horizon, aren't we? Look at a sort of shining ball of hope and sort of try and navigate how to get there. And um, and hopefully some of those techniques come through. And no, they do, help very much so. I found Good. it incredibly helpful, actually. I, did I, I really did. Well, we've all, I mean, for goodness sake, yours is an extreme. It's, it's hellish yeah. what happened to you. But I think every single person has struggled. Absolutely. We've all we've all struggled and, we, and that's okay. It's all right to struggle. Yeah. But you just have to, as you say, hang on. To hope, that's what you've got to do. And yeah. it's your birthday today and something quite it is. magical happened. Well, I would say miraculous, <laughs> but I don't want to bandy that word around too much. But to, you know, we're, at the moment, the family and I are looking for lots of little things with Derek. He's home, we can hug him. That's a miracle in itself. And then we're looking for little bits of him to come more out of the consciousness, to become more back to us. And um, last night I said to him, when I was sort of tucking him in and we we're doing various medical bits, I said, oh, by the way, it's my birthday tomorrow. And I may imagine it, but he looked a bit worried. And I said, oh, look, don't worry. I'm not expecting anything. It's my birthday present is you being home. And I'm going to pop in and see you before I go early um, to off to, to Lorraine oh, yeah. and, and see you. So I came in this morning. So I'm making this very long window. Oh, no, it's I awful. came in this morning and <laughs> said, right, I'm all ready. Um, my mum and dad are there. And, of course, the nurses are there. And I said, I'm off to Lorraine uh, now. Is there anything you want to say to me? And he said, oh, happy birthday. Wow, I know. that's huge. That really is brilliant. Makes me feel a bit emotional, actually, but it's happy tears. Yes. But I won't look at you for a minute. No, it's please. happy tears. <laughs> and, um, you know, not to be technical about it, I sound like I'm analysing everything, but that is massive. Obviously, it's wonderful that he says happy birthday because yep. that's what I want to hear. But also, 
you know, we're looking for things that he can hold. So I told him that the night before. I had to prompt him a little bit. But, right. You know, he was just stirring and we were, you know, giving him various, turning him and doing various things this morning. And, but he held that idea that it was my birthday and then managed to connect it right. back and repeat it out. So that's... And that's fantastic. wonderful. Oh, it's and that, fantastic. Those signs like that are just fantastic. And just having him there where you can, you know, because before you weren't even able to be in the same room as him when he was in hospital and you were having to yeah. sort of communicate on iPads and things. Yeah. And having him there just so you can talk to him and the kids can chat be away. Be around and, yeah, him. And, and it's and those strange happening. little weird normal things, isn't it, that happen. In fact, one of the nurses, I was racing back a couple of days ago and one of the nurses texted me and said, oh my goodness, I'm whispering now like Derek does. Oh my <laughs> goodness, I've just heard Derek speak for the oh, first wow. time. And I said, oh my God, what did he say? And she said, he said, Bill, you smell of monster munch. <laughs> now it's... <laughs> That's your wee boy, isn't it? It's not quite... And did he? It's not quite the <laughs> profound thing that you hope, like, I have seen God and I love you all. But, but, what that also says is... And she said, by the way, he did smell a monster much. He just had two packets of massive monster much, which, as you know, are very pungent. Indeed. And he'd come over and he was hugging him. And so that tells us, first of all, that he's potted... And he seemed to smile as he said it. He said he, She said he was laughing. Laughing may be strong, but he seemed to be laughing and Billy was laughing as well, which is a lovely normal Good. moment and also it shows us he can smell exactly so and every little thing, thing. Yeah. is like hopefully trying to put little jigsaws into like to make a sort of hopeful no, picture indeed. of the future and your yeah. kids have been amazing i mean your daughter is something else she really is I know. but you, both of your children have been fantastic haven't they i know she is a force of nature does yes. draper there's no question about <laughs> that and we all learn about it and she's extraordinary and of course their relationship has gone through with their dad, has gone through, also, you know, utter terror of losing him, the fear of managing that. Life, as we've seen for everybody, needing to go on. So having to get to stuck into school, having to work at what it means. And now, of course, being back in school, being able to see friends again and not wanting to, not wanting to be talking about the drama at home all the time. Lots of things for, for youngsters to manage. And, and Bill is just very, very good with him. He seems to have a sort of weird instinct that he'll sit with him quietly and hold his hand and then almost seem to sort of sense that sometimes it's too much for Derek and I'll just say, shall I let you go now and just sit with you? And Derek will nod and, I don't know, it, it is a wonderful new thing and, and mm. I've had so many lovely messages from people about the book and I'm sure, you know, your viewers have been lovely when I've been on of your course. call. And, there, and lots of people who are carers, you know, yeah, yeah. who are caring for loved ones saying, you know, it's a tough thing to do, but actually there are wonderful nuggets that you never thought you'd get that yeah. come along and, and and I can sort of see that already, mm. you know. No, you can and it's it's a massive change in your relationship. Of course it is. Of course. Huge change in your relationship, yeah. that, that's true. But at the same time, somehow you just always manage to get on with it. I you try. Just you, no, you, you do and more than try. It's, it's quite remarkable that you've just been able to hold it together. Well, it's strange, isn't it? You don't, you sort of think, um, you know, obviously Derek was his own person a force of nature in himself and a very big, colourful character. Now everything's very quiet. Now we're doing everything for him, from True. feeding to personal care to medication and yeah. to everything. And so that's a different relationship. But what I'm hoping is that there's a, there's a different tenderness that, that, that something else can grow out of. Course, of course, because that's and, love key. That's yeah. what that is. That's absolutely it is love, isn't it? pure love. It is love. And, and, I, and he fills it back and then... We just have to sort of, and thanks to having lots of brilliant experts around that can do the medical stuff that I am not trained to do, hopefully be able to kind of get some balance in there as well so that yeah. he can have some pride as well. No, I understand You know what I mean? Because he wants to look at his wife, doesn't he? Yeah, as well as the person caring. No, absolutely. Yeah. And today, big day because it's your birthday. Big day because it's my birthday because it's another year part. <laughs> I mean, I can remember talking to you on my 50th and I'm now 54. What well, you're happened? a child. A baby. I'm not a baby. <laughs> a child. That four Our years. Our lovely Jack has got you some flowers. Oh, he's so socially Jack. distanced, so he's gorgeous. I know, he's Thank got his you, white Jack. gloves on to make sure everything's <laughs> fine. I like that. He might pull a rabbit out of a hat. And we just told 
you have a, a good day? Are you just going to have Thank a quiet you. one? Just a nice well, family day? Well, my mum and day? dad are allowed to come visit. Perfect. But they're my bubbles, so they're coming. Good. And that's wonderful. And they, um, we're going to have a little bit of a family meal and we're going to all sort of gather around Derek and open some cards, hopefully. And Lovely. look at the flowers now. Fantastic. Thank you. Kate, thank you. And thanks to everyone. Everyone has been so wonderful. I'm so lucky. I'm so grateful for so many things and that love that everybody... It reaches out and gives, don't they? It does, they? it really they does. They really do, and it's, and it's wonderful. The book is wonderful, and it's out right now, uh, The Power of Hope, and it's doing incredibly well, so congratulations on that. Yeah. And everything Thank else you do. You. Great to see Thank you. Thank you for reading it. Oh, Where do you get the time? It was, no, I really, well, it's one of those books you start, you know, you, you start and you just can't stop. Oh, that's lovely. You just want to, you just want to keep, keep going, and it will really help people, Kate. It really will. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub, and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.